It could be stronger. Beyonce, if you're watching this. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're one of kind. Yeah. I really don't know. Um, something along the lines of disaster. <laughs> a mess. <laughs> oh, okay, then I take my answer back. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to NB Admissions' newest segment of 72 Questions with Notre Dame students. My name is Lulu Romero and I'm a sophomore at the University of Notre Dame. And today I will be interviewing multiple pairs of students, asking them 72 questions about themselves so that you can get to know what our students are like. So sit down, relax, and enjoy 72 Questions. Hi, my name is Frankie Mashapinto. I'm originally from Madison, Wisconsin, now living in McGlynn Hall. I'm a sophomore and I'm studying political science with a minor in digital marketing. I'm Ellie Hammerschmidt. I live in Pasquarel East Hall, originally from Indianapolis. I'm a science business Japanese double major. And we are in boxing club at Notre Dame. So Barack Abad's Boxing Club supports um, Holy Cross missions in Uganda. We fundraise throughout the season and then have a really big, really fun tournament at the end of the year. Hey y'all, I'm Alan Jomo. I am a senior studying business analytics, originally from Kenya, but I've lived in Arlington, Texas since 2009, and I live in Stafford Hall. And hi, I'm Alex Basden, and I am a senior studying international economics in the French concentration. I am originally from Lafayette, Louisiana, but here on campus I live in Howard Hall. And student government. And student government. I serve as student body president. And I'm chief of staff. Hi, my name is Sam Fisher. I am from Simi Valley, California. I am a fifth year grad student here at Notre Dame, um, getting my master's in nonprofit administration. And I also received my undergraduate undergraduate degree in marketing um, here at Notre Dame. Hi, um, I'm Ava Gatino. I'm a sophomore here at Notre Dame. I'm currently in the science business program. Um, I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I was in PE for a little bit. And we are on the women's soccer team. I'm Bailey Jordan. I'm from the Gulf Coast of Florida, south of Tampa. I am a fifth year architecture major, and I lived in Lewis Hall when I was on campus. Um, hi, my name is Dominic Grimm. I'm also an architecture major. Um, I grew up in Buffalo, New York, but I live in Cincinnati, Ohio now. Um, and I'm also a fifth year architecture major. Hi, I'm Rory Finn. I'm a senior from Dallas, Texas. I'm double majoring in psychology and Chinese with a minor in digital marketing. And on campus, I lived in Pasquale West Hall. Hi, I'm Lulu Pfeiffer. I'm a senior from Granger, Indiana. I'm double majoring in philosophy and film, television, and theater with a minor in musical theater. And I also lived in Pasquale West Hall. That's where I met Rory. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Haley. I'm a senior living in Pascarella West Hall. I'm an American Studies and Sociology major, originally from Ohio, and I'm on the Notre Dame Admissions New Media Intern Team. Hi everyone, my name is Tushé Thompson. I'm a senior living in Johnson Family Hall. I'm originally from West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm currently studying Marketing and Sociology, and I'm also on the New Media Intern Team for ND Admissions. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about life right now? Ooh, like nine and a half. Yeah, I'd say like a, more like an eight for me. Yeah, it's an exciting time right now. Yeah. yeah. Describe yourself in a hashtag. I'd say chaos right now. Hashtag chaos. Hashtag getting through it. If you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? Timothy Chalamet. Um, love scene with anyone. Um, dang, it's so corny. Zendaya. Oh, she's great. Or Rihanna. Oh yeah, good answers. If your life was a musical, what would the marquee say? Tajay, a train wreck waiting to happen. <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really know where she's going, but usually ends up okay. Okay, I love that, okay. All right, <laughs> all right, it's fine. What's one thing people don't know about you? I do love to read, and I feel like people don't mm, think that yeah, I would be a, a reader. One. I am. A, I love reading. Um, I'm obsessed with skincare, and I don't think I talk about that that much. But like, I could have a whole YouTube channel. I just choose not to. Girl crush. Rory. <laughs> <laughs> um, Florence Pugh. Yeah, she's so beautiful. What's your wake up ritual? Um, don't be more than ten minutes late to class. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a cup of black coffee every morning. Um and try and pick out a cute outfit. What's your go-to bed ritual? Shower and get in bed. <laughs> See, that's a go-to. I don't have a go-to, I just get in bed. 
And hear me out, okay? <laughs> this is disgusting. Hear me out. I feel like no one, sure. no one told me you're supposed to brush your teeth before going to bed. <laughs> No one's ever told me that, and I see a lot of people do it. It doesn't make sense to me. I brush it in the morning, okay? Wait, no. The That's reason enough. that no, the reason that you brush it at night is because plaque accumulates over the course of the day, and you don't want it to get into your Propaganda. teeth at night. Propaganda. <laughs> That's, it. Propaganda. That's a fair point. That's so good. I mean, it does make sense though, because like, think about it. What are you gonna do that's gonna make your teeth dirty? Uh, your no, but the, the more that I get that, party yes, in your yes, mouth. I do agree with that though. <laughs> I can, I can like, see I'm your really point. About but people in and partying. Okay, so if plaque was partying right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> right. What's your favorite time of day? Night. Like dinner time. Yeah. yeah. So. Vintage or new? I love vintage. I have thrift shopping all over. Dream country to visit. Australia. Um, I'd love to visit Switzerland. I'm still here working on mastering. Crochet. <laughs> Not sneezing in the morning. What's your biggest surprise you've had? Honestly, getting into Notre Dame. I did not think I would. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm moving to Manhattan after graduation, and if you had asked me that at 18, I would have been like, you're insane. And now I'm really excited. Heels or flats or sneakers? Sneakers. Sneakers. Style icon? Hailey Bieber. Bella Hadid. Who do you want to write your obituary? I don't care who writes it, but I want Morgan Friedman to narrate it. That's good. <laughs> um, who writes my obituary would probably need to be one of my best friends, Madison. I think she'd make it funny. Secret talent? I can, um, I can do head, shoulders, knees, and toes in Japanese. What are you gonna show us? <laughs> Damn, the pressure is on. Okay. Ata isa ashi isa ashi. Ata magata isa ashi isa ashi. Ata magata isa ashi isa ashi. Mito mimito kuchito ana. Ata magata. Cute. Yeah 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 yeah. That's cool. Whatever. I can do head, shoulders, knees, and toes in Swahili. Okay, it's easy. You feel me? You feel me? Kichwa, my bega. Knees. Toes. Um, <laughs> yo, I do know Swahili. I just can't, currently cannot remember the word for knees. Um, yeah, that's. Google it. Let me know. <laughs> but I know how to do it. I promise. I'm definitely using this. Is that your hidden talent? Do you <laughs> not have another talent. hidden talent? Or were you just trying to one up me? Okay. <laughs> um, but I, I speak Swahili. It's not really hidden. Um, except I currently cannot remember. <laughs> How to say knees, and it's gonna bother me. <laughs> I can say legs. Miku. What are three things you can't live without? Friends, family, and sleep. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'll say music. I listen to music a lot. Um, I don't want to do the same ones. No, you know, can. But friends and family. Yeah. It's not basic. No, it's not basic. Okay. They, they mean the most, bro. Where would we be without? <laughs> What's one ingredient you put in everything? Lately it's been hot sauce. Is it bad if I say salt? <laughs> <laughs> what three people, living or dead, would you like to make dinner for? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, feminist icon and urbanist Jane Jacobs. Father Hesburgh, because he just seems pretty cool, not gonna lie. I totally lean into the Notre Dame um, on that one. And then a third, Michelangelo. He did some good stuff. We'll go with that. I'd say Michelle Obama, for one, just because she's like um, she's a little icon on my laptop right now. Love her. Um, I would also say I, I would want to have a conversation with Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah, it'd be really interesting. It's weird so, guy. Yeah, very weird, but I think it'd be interesting. Okay, that's And then two. I think the other one would be Martha P. Johnson. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. What would you like to be remembered for? Like. Maintaining communities. Yeah. There's this quote that people share a lot, um, and I think it's attributed to someone famous. Uh, and she said that, you know, people don't remember what you said. They probably don't remember what you wore um, or things that you did. People remember how you made them feel. Um, so I hope that'll make people feel welcomed, hope that make people feel loved, and hope it make people feel joy. Hill or aisle seat? Aisle. <laughs> you 
You want people, that's easy access. I can't sit there the entire time and I have to get up a lot easily. Yeah. So I pick aisle. I love to sit. <laughs> I love to sit by the window. What dessert you don't like? Chocolate ice cream. I don't really like thin mints. I'm not a big mint and chocolate person. I know it's a hot take, but. Uh, what's your current TV obsession? Sex in the City. Peaky Blinders. Favorite app? TikTok. TikTok. Show us your best TikTok moves. You're good at these dances. Well, now I'm blanking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what about you. <laughs> what's your biggest fear in life? Not being successful. Not traveling when I can travel. Because everyone puts it off way too late and then you're old and tired and you don't want to leave your bed. And I'm already like that, so I gotta do it sometime. <laughs> How would you define yourself in three words? Um, passionate, um, determined, and easygoing. I guess that's four words, but. I would say relentless. Um, Hardworking and competitive. Favorite piece of clothing you own? I wore it this morning for my marketing presentation, but I have this really cute little green skirt. It goes perfectly with like a turtleneck and I'm obsessed. My favorite pair of Levi's jeans. They're just like the sister of the traveling pants. They always look good with everything. <laughs> Must have clothing item, item everyone should have. For people who like to dress like feminine, I think everyone needs a really simple t-shirt dress. That is like the best, most convenient item. And it's like, you can dress it up and dress it down. For people who like to dress masculine, I would say one good like button down shirt that you can wear over other shirts. For people who like to dress feminine, I have no idea. Uh, but if you'd like to dress masculine, a good pair of boots. Um, mm -hmm. I recommend blonde stones. Please don't get docks. Please don't, don't get docks. What's wrong with docks? basic next question thanks for that one yes. best gift you've ever received uh my friends got me a record player and some vinyls of my favorite albums that i really enjoy probably my canada goose jacket because that thing keeps me warm no matter how cold <laughs> it is best gift you've ever given i once had the opportunity to buy my dad a pair of airpods and oh. yeah he doesn't use them <laughs> Because <laughs> it's too complicated, but that's another story. Okay. Um, one of my friends in high school is really obsessed with sharks. Like, she has a shark tattoo. And so um, I went on, like, World Wildlife Fund, and I adopted a shark and gave it her name. Baby shark. If you were like for a song, what would the title be? <sighs> Brown-eyed girl. <gasps> yeah, that's such a good one. Um, industry baby. <laughs> Superpower you would want? Definitely like uh, teleportation. Mm, that's a good one. Yep. I think I'd want to be able to be invisible. I think it'd be really fun. Like sneak around. Sneak around. <laughs> <laughs> What's inspiring you in life right now? I guess the future. I know that's like really it doesn't make any sense, but like I don't know, just like looking forward to like what's to come. Like there's something to work towards. I feel like my friends are inspiring me because they're really hardworking. Me want to be too sometimes. Most of the time. Most of the time. Best piece of advice you've received? That like all the time I spent worrying about myself, like I was the only one doing that. So it's like not worth it to worry so much about like people not liking me or people worrying. Like I'm the only one who worries about that. So um I'd say the best piece of advice that I received was that you know choices can always be corrected um so not to always over consider the weight and gravity of decisions and so if you ever if you make a mistake you can always correct it um nothing is unmendable thank you for watching part one of 73 questions with notre dame students make sure to head over to part two when it's posted so that you can see the rest of the responses make sure to follow nd admissions on all of our social media accounts so that you can stay updated with what we're doing on campus